All right, let's see. So second day, we just did different types of data, primitive data types. So like we have strings, which are just uh, with parentheses. And then uh, we have uh, integers right here, where it's just like in whole numbers. We have floats, which are pretty much decimals, booleans, true or false. Um, there's a little cool neat trick with uh, strings is where you can uh, find the character. You could select a character. So each character of a string, H-E-L-L-O, starts H with zero, E is one, L is two. And then right here, so these two brackets, the zero symbolizes the H in the hello. Then, uh, and right here, the underscores when you're writing uh, in uh, integers is kind of helpful when you want to write really large numbers and be able to format uh, your your numbers so you can see like how many digits and they're just pretty much commas for your uh, your integers. Uh, let's see, type. This is a function that we use to determine the type of data. So yeah, and then we also have a string. So if we have a different type of uh, data type, we can convert it. Say we have a float, we want it to convert it to a string. In a drew, we want to continue to a string. We just put the string function. So right here is uh, a is equal to string. 555, five, five, 5 is an integer, 555 five, five is an integer. We could print the type right here and it will show that it's a, it's a string. Then right here we have an integer conversion, float conversion, which I don't know if you can do a float conversion actually. Um, actually, yeah, if you're, uh, probably, it probably works if uh, you have a string that says true or false. You could probably convert it into a float. Uh, this one is a project, a little tiny project I did. Two digit number, input any two digit number. And then the project pretty much just, uh, you have X and you have Y, you add them together and you print the combination. So I say I have 55, I add them together to uh, five and five is equal to 10. This is just utilizing that, uh, whatever this is called, the uh, subscripting, utilizes subscripting of the, the inputs here. So we're pretty much just inputting a number and it comes out as a string. We're finding the first character of it. Well, the Python is actually reading integer first, right? And so we're we're, we're uh, calling, uh, we're first evaluating the integer. Well, we're, we're setting the, the variable x to the integer of this two-digit number. And then, then it goes back and sees what this is. It locates uh, the, 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 the first the zeroth term, and then it creates it into an integer. And then it repeats a cycle. And then, and then now we value this expression. This is addition to different types of ways. Floor division is kind of cool because it just deletes, just cuts the, the decimal values. And then this is the exponents. Python uses PEMDAS, which is order of operation when it completes its mathematical computations. This is a BMI little project so we have a height and we input your height in here you have your weight input your weight and then what we're doing is since it's a string right here height and weight are input functions so it's a string we change it into a float or integer but float to probably be more accurate and precise with these uh, numbers here and then now we're going to print the the integer of weight and then height uh yeah and then you're squaring it so so 
what it does is yeah python just reads print and then what does it want to print the integer and the integer and it reads through this we and it goes through and sees that we have an exponent here so it executes this first and then it executes the floor division and then it prints it out change it an integer and prints it out yeah this is rounding function so this is rounding the fourth decimal so you put a comma behind your uh, little uh, operand and four right here I'm not sure if this is part of the operator it's probably just like a value that you put in to the operator um score is zero so just an example of having a score that's equal to zero and then we're adding to this original score so score plus one minus one i should fix this really quick and then uh dividing by one so zero divided by one zero right yeah and the f string is is pretty cool it's actually pretty useful because you can put different types of data types into one print statement so f put the f before the parentheses and then you have to put these little bracket things to uh add your different types of area of like uh different types of type different data types <clears throat> so the project is if you were to live till age of 90 how much time would you remain so first of all we're going to input our age change the age into an integer subtract 90 from our current age and then we're going to multiply that age by the 365 days 52 weeks or 12 months and then it'll show you how many days or weeks or months you have in your life finally i made a little tip calculator so what we're going to do is uh you're going to welcome to the tip calculator to print this out uh, we're setting total to the float of the input of uh, what was the total bill so you enter your total bill gives you a percentage of tip right here so 15 so let's say if you get 15 percent tip and put it in now change it to integer and now percent is equal to 15 and then person how many people want to split the bill so we're going to input how many people in a whole number change it to integer and then now here we're going to do a mathematical operation of setting percent one into the percent divided by 100 plus one so essentially what we're doing is just changing this 10 percent or 15 percent for say to 1.15 because that's what we need to multiply to get the total cost so when we get the total times the 1.15 divided by the people and in order of operations we just do it right to left because it's multiplying and division and then now uh we have a uh a rounding like this is pretty much the answer already but uh we want it to have a nice two decimal answer so our value so we have cost and we're going to set it equal to this thing the f uh 2f thing we're going to that pretty much formats it to have like two zeros like rounds it to two decimal places as a float and then yeah so it just changes cost one into this and then now we're just going to print cost and then there we have our answer that's about it for today and hopefully I'll stay on the grind. Peace.